is a certain degree where I think we all got a bit used to doing that and got better and quicker at it and probably more musical, you know, as we went along, you know, um, during the COVID period. Um, it's nice to know that it can be done, you know, um, although, you know, I, I love being in the studio with everyone and seeing everyone and, um, but, you know, the pandemic made us a lot more resilient and resourceful. So, um, yeah, opened up a lot of new ways of thinking and doing things. One of the challenge, the goals for me was to record all my own parts and my own solos first. And I didn't realize until I heard all of you play how much I had you all in my head when I was doing it. Mm. And I, I was really playing in a way to try to invite the kinds of contributions that we have been doing for, I guess now, like 10 years, right? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like the band is just playing together, which we, if you, if you believe the idea that like time is just kind of an illusion anyway, we're all playing at the same time anyway, on the record. If you want to think of it that way, you know. Simultaneous improvisation across 10 months. Yeah. Was it 10 months from when you did yours to? Yeah. When, and did you record it, re record any of it after you got our tracks? You know, I thought I would, and I didn't record, re record anything. Hmm. I get the impression you didn't do too much in terms of like cutting stuff out, you know? Almost nothing. No, cool. we, I, I, my philosophy was just whatever you guys sent. I was assuming that you guys were doing it with minimal takes, you know, not obsessing. Yeah. And that's the way I had done mine. And so I just took everyone's takes as a whole.